Hi guys, I thought I would show you how I control my servo-driven skulls using Scary Terry's audio driver. The circuit works pretty well by itself, opening and closing the jaw, but I found it depended too much on the source audio's level. Proceed with caution down the candlelit hallway. Quiet words didn't quite open it, and quick phrases just held the jaw open the whole time. Proceed with caution down the candlelit hallway. I really just wanted to be able to tell the servo, open the jaw, and close the jaw. So this is what I came up with. I made a two-second sound file of a 12 kilohertz sine wave at pretty high volume. 12 kilohertz is pretty high, and my prop's speakers cannot reproduce it at all. However, the Scary Terry board sees it and reacts quite well. So here's how I do it. I mix the sound in with whatever the dialogue is, and it'll just drive the circuit perfectly. I start off with a little piece of the sine wave sound and put it right at the start of each word that I want the jaw to open on. Proceed with caution down the candlelit hallway. Play with that until it looks like the jaw is opening at the right spots. Proceed with... Then I'll go back in and change the length of the files to match the length of the words. Proceed with caution down the candlelit... the candlelit hallway. Oh, need an extra one here. Down the candlelit hallway. Hallway. And I find that uh, it works quite well. Proceed with caution down the candlelit hallway. Doing this method, you can have a stereo track with one skull running on one side and the other skull on the other side, and your control sine wave mixed in, and your tots will never know you're doing it that way. All right, I hope this helps somebody. Cheers.